If you're a Crowdsource the Truth viewer, this is going to be a very unusual video, but for today we're going to talk about this really impressive and small TX6. And uh, Teenage Engineering, I don't own anything from this company. They did not send this to me. You can see I purchased it at B&H Photo, paid full price. And I bought this because it seems like an extremely interesting product. Uh, I intend to use this as a replacement for my sound devices mm. Mix Pre 6 2. Now, 32 bit audio has become quite important to me. I really like the clarity of that high resolution audio recording. So, we can see we've got a you know, not, not like an Apple computer level uh, unboxing experience, but here is the device. Boy, really nicely packaged. Take a look at that. So, Teenage Engineering, as I said, I don't own any of their other products. This is a Swedish company, and uh, I think that based on what I've seen online, this thing is designed to be kind of like a companion to desktop DJ style stuff. And I intend to use it as a field recorder replacement for the four and a half pound 32 bit sound devices Mix Pre 6 Mark II. It's impressively small, and you can see, you know, sitting next to an iPhone mini, it's smaller than an iPhone mini. So, good job, Teenage Engineering, making the thing so super duper tiny. Now, one of the things that's nice about it is it's got this USB-C port on it and uh, that is supposed to be able to give us audio output, digital audio output to an iOS device. And uh, people who are regular viewers of Crowdsource the Truth, you see me walking around with Charles Ortel. I've got a big almost five pound thing hanging around my neck and hopefully after today it'll be this tiny little device in my pocket. Now, it's got this adapter for headphones. So, if you want to use, uh, you know, studio headphones with a quarter inch phono plug, you can plug it right in there. Um, or you use this adapter to use the eighth inch plug. It's kind of a strange, I don't know why it comes with that. It's it, pretty big compared to the rest of the unit. I'm going to be monitoring the audio through the phone, so I'm not going to need that. But uh, let me get this thing powered up. It does have a built-in battery. I'm going to experiment with external battery as well, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so the power switch is right here on the side. You just flip that on, and I've just purchased it, so it hasn't been charged, but it does appear to have... Wow, that's a tiny, tiny little icon for the battery, but I, mean, I guess it's teenage engineering, so teenage eyeballs, that's no problem to see. Looks like the battery is pretty full. One of the things I really love about the Sound Devices uh, Mix Pre 6 and Mark II and the Mix Pre 3 is that they have a USB digital audio output that will also transmit power over a lightning cable. So, you can really run an iOS device for a long time if you've got a large battery on the Mix Pre 6. Now, one of the problems with the TX6 is that it's tiny and it's got this tiny little battery pack. So, something that's going to be pretty important for me is going to be running it from an external battery. Now, it's going to require this USB-C hub but what that allows me to do is I've got this external battery hooked up going into the USB-C connector on the hub. And uh, what you'll be able to see is when you plug it into the TX6, it acknowledges that it's charging. So power is going through the battery, through the hub, to the TX6, and this battery should power it for quite a while. For this experiment, I'm going to use uh, just an older iPhone 6S Plus, and it's a little tough to see the icon there. This was sort of dead, so we'll let it charge up for a moment from the battery, and then it's going to boot this iPhone, and uh, it does look like the USB-C hub is passing power 
to the iPhone. So I will have to have this hub in my pocket with the TX6, but I think it's still going to be a lot lighter than four and a half pounds and certainly smaller. So this could fit in uh, a pocket of cargo shorts or, um, you know, something like that. Even jeans, you might be able to fit this. Now, I'm a little concerned about the, I don't want it to be in a tight pocket because you don't want to affect these potentiometers or the sliders as I walk around. They do make a little pouch. Teenage Engineering makes a pouch for this TX6. I don't really like the design of that. I would prefer kind of a mini port-a-brace style thing just so that when you close it in the case you know that whatever you set these sliders to isn't going to be easily changed by shaking around in your pocket. I wanted to use this old phone because it's got a an eighth inch headphone jack on it so that's going to make just this initial testing a little easier and um, I've got the app that I'm going to use loaded on there so unfortunately it doesn't seem to work in the way that I want it to. I had hoped that this USB port when connected to a hub would you see normally with this app when you plug into a digital audio interface it shows up here and it automatically switches and it should say lightning input. So basically I've got this USB hub plugged in to the TX6 and it's definitely passing power through to the phone but it's not going to give us audio unfortunately. So what that means is this is seemingly only going to work with the built-in battery of the TX6 which I can already tell you is pretty small uh, certainly compared to this. This battery is larger than the entire unit so this could be one uh, negative for the TX6 compared to the sound devices Mix Pre 6 and perhaps this will have a time limit in terms of how long a particular show could be. So let's try plugging it directly from the TX6 to the iPhone and this is what it is intended to do. Does that change? Okay, there we see. So it says USB lightning and we can see the levels jumping so it's going to be getting audio directly from the TX6 right now and if I plug my headphones into here, check one, two, check one, two, okay, I can hear it's a very low level on here, so boy, it does sound good. Now, being so compact, it's one of these devices where, you know, you gotta watch the screen here and cycle through a lot of button combinations. So if we hold down shift and tap one of the track buttons, you can see it changes right there. We've got our uh, gain, so we could boost it, and then we can turn the level down on the slider a little bit. But we're not over-modulating, so this is pretty good. I can tell the sound quality is excellent. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly an audio expert. Sound engineers may not like the fact that we're using these tiny little connectors. The uh, sound devices uses more traditional professional XLR connectors. These are, you know, balanced connectors. I have seen the eighth inch connectors advertised as balanced connectors. So maybe that's when you have the ring tip, tip sleeve or whatever. I don't know. Maybe that is a balanced connector. We're going to have to check the, uh, the specs. But this sounds really good and it's definitely small. I'm a little disappointed that we won't be able to use an external battery. It's possible that a firmware upgrade of the TX6 would allow audio and power to pass through a hub like this. I'll send an email to Teenage Engineering and ask them if that's something that they can add. But I'm going to continue to test with the unit like this. It's just so amazingly small. I mean, when you compare it to, obviously, the Mix Pre 6 here, it's quite a bit larger and heavier so it'll be nice to uh, to try this out and see how it goes now obviously I'm gonna have to have these mic packs in my pockets but I'm carrying those with the mix pre 6 anyway and um, I can spread these out 
I could have one mic pack in each pocket and maybe the TX6 in a little pouch or a third pocket if I've got cargo shorts or something like that. But uh, the sound quality is great. There's a ton of other features in the TX6. You can add echo and effects and I think there's a whole range of effects that you can cycle through. Professional audio mixer in a package this small, it's just so appealing and excellent work by the engineers at Teenage Engineering. That's basically my uh, test of the TX6. Sounds great, does not pass uh, power and digital audio through the USB cable to the iOS device, and maybe that's the same reason why it doesn't work with the hub. We'll send an email to Teenage Engineering and see what they can come up with. Thanks for watching.